Hi, this is Chris from PB Pro. Uh, I'm lead technical designer for PB Pro software. Uh, what I'm going to do today is walk you through some of the setting of the templates for the images. So we start by logging into the admin area. So then we go to the layout tab at the top, uh, and we'll start with the single layout. And you can see here that we've got uh, a logo and a unique ID. Let's just get rid of the uh, layouts that are on there. Let's get rid of there. Get rid of that one. And we'll start from scratch with the image. Uh, so the image is enabled, so we can take an image and we have obviously one image. The position currently is position X and Y, so that's 20 in 70 uh, down, I think. Uh, sorry, up. Uh, the angle is no angle on the image and the width is 2550 and the height 1540. So what we're going to do, we're going to make the image actually slightly smaller. We'll lock the aspect ratio. Uh, if you do a preview, you see the image becomes smaller. Uh, let's rotate it ever so slightly like so. And let's move it over a little bit. And we're going to move it over more than that, so we'll go with larger increments there. Something like so. So you can move the image within the 6x4 frame anywhere you want, angle it however you want, and change the size of it like so. When you've got something that you're happy with, uh, let's change the image for example as well, just to make the background. Let's say we'll put on a pork, pork background like so. There we go. So you can kind of make up the image however you want. Then let's make this a little bit smaller so it fits within Ah, sorry, I said that the uh, the Y position from the bottom is actually from the top. Let's move it over a little bit to try and center it. Something like that, you get the kind of idea. Now, if you've, if you've got a layout like that and you think, right, I'm happy with that, I want to use that again in the future, you can click Save Layout, let's call it Cork Board, click Save, and now when you want to select it, you can see you've got the one we've just done there. So let's just change the option to that one, go back to the one that we've just created, we go there. So, uh, so that's single layout. Uh, the four up layout is exactly the same except you've got more options for each individual image. So, uh, for example, we've got a few templates that you get automatically, uh, basic ones, you've got a few like so, which you've got layouts, which make it, you can make it put overlays over top. Uh, let me see, we've got this one's more complex layout because you've got three images which are ticked, the fourth one is turned off um, they're positioned very specifically on the page with specific widths and the angles are slightly done so it makes it look like they've been thrown down then we've got logos which are put on which are a post-it note graphic uh, which you can see here uh, the post-it note is then positioned three of those those are positioned and then on top of the that are also uh, the arrows, which are then put on top of the post-it notes, and then to finish it off, we've got the text, three lots of text, which is wanted, suspect one, and suspect two. Uh, so you can build up the templates however you see. There's, there's quite a lot of combinations. You can set the transparency of the images and the text. You can set the color of the text, uh, and you can also set the background if you like uh, as well. For example, this one's on a cork board. Um, another example here is uh, a white background. The background has got uh, wood with white blocks on it. And on top of the white blocks, we're positioning the images so that it looks like it's on a Polaroid photo. And on top of that, we've got blood splats, which are layered on top of it. So something like that could be useful for Halloween. So if you look at the, the image here, uh, which is the background, is, it does most of the work for you, then you're overlaying the images on top of it, and then you've got the blood spots overlaid on top of that, so you can build up different types, multiple layers uh, on top of the images. Uh, we've also got the option for strip prints, so that you've got a strip, 
which you can lay them out at the top. You can set to strip duplicate, which will then duplicate the one side to the other, like so. And this will automatically, when printed, get uh, cut in half, so you can save paper and things like that. So uh, basically, that that's it. That's a bit of a, a quick run through the layouts for each individual one. It's fully configurable. Uh, it's just the imagination, uh, and you can save things for future reference if you need to. So uh, thank you.